So, VMware Cloud on AWS, what is it? We have a whole training course to teach you about that, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Let me give you a brief summary. VMware, we're the company for the last 20 years have helped you virtualize your data center, make more of less physical kit, less networking kit, reducing the cabling, reducing the power intake and the heat output, generally making it more cost effective to manage your private data center. Now at VMware, we have different customers coming to us with different scenarios they want solutions for. Some customers wish to reduce the footprint of their existing data center. What they'd like to see is a second site, another data center, connect them together and balance their loads across the two sites. They'll have capacity on both of these sites to allow for disaster avoidance, disaster recovery, and they can V-motion workloads between the two sites themselves. There are some customers that come to us and say, actually, they want to increase the footprint of their existing data center, but they haven't got the physical capacity to go and build on that site. So they also require another site. This is all capital expenditure. Some customers want to take that further. They want another site, maybe subsequent sites, in different geographical locations. And this is where AWS come in. Amazon Web Services are the market leader in the public cloud. They've already been around the world. They've purchased sites, they've populated it with kit, and they will lease that kit, those resources, on a pay-as-you-go basis. And our partnership at VMware with Amazon Web Services it is a situation where we put our kit onto the AWS sites. So you have different geographical locations around the world, different countries, different continents to choose from. Uh, and you can come to us. Here's an important point. We are the point of sale, delivery, and support for the VMware Cloud on AWS solution. We utilize VMware Cloud Foundation. in order to allow you to deploy the ESXi servers, the vSAN for storage, NSX for networking, and of course you'll get a copy of vCenter. That makes it really easy to deploy from one host, will quickly require you to go to the minimum recommended vSphere cluster size of three hosts and beyond if you wish. In fact, we give different services. We now have Elastic DRS. This allows you, when demand gets high and you need more capacity, to deploy more ESXi hosts. Again, on a pay-as-you-go model. And when demand comes down, you can decrease that number of ESXi hosts. Paying as you go and as you require. i tell you another good thing about VMware Cloud Foundation. That is the housekeeping. When you use Cloud Foundation, your uh, patching, your updates, your upgrades is all taken care of. That's right, we take care of keeping that up to date. Although you've got the vSAN there, you can complement this VMware Cloud on AWS with some of the AWS features. The Elastic Block Storage, Elastic File System, S3 Buckets. So you, you can also use some of the other services provided by AWS. And we provide this new NSX Hybrid Connect. So the fact that you are running workloads on both data centers, private and public, is transparent to the customer base and the end user. You can have some workloads on one, some on the other, even in a multi-tiered application, and it's invisible to the user themselves. If you're using some of our uh, extra features, vRealize automation, vRealize operations. Maybe you're using the APIs, perhaps you're using Power CLI. You can continue to do that. Everything is a single pane of glass. Accessing vCenter linked with the other vCenter in the same way as you do just with the private cloud. So it's a, a single point of contact 
for your administration. Take it from CAPEX to OPEX, that keeps the financial directors, the chief financial officers happy and also reduces the overhead for the IT admins themselves. You can V-motion across here. You can evacuate thousands of virtual machines immediately if you require. And with Elastic DRS, add more resource as is required as well. If you want to know more about all of this functionality, anything beyond, why don't you go to www.vmware.com forward slash education. Search for AWS. Whilst you're there, give the hands on lab a go. We've got a live environment for you to experience these features. But you also want to look for our new three-day course. It's the VMware Cloud on AWS. Deploy and manage.